of Gita, chapter 13. 13.33 Yatha Sarvagatam Sokshmyad Yatha Sarvagatam Sokshmyad Akasham no Palipyate Akasham no Palipyate Sarvatravasthito Dehe Sarvatra was tito de he. That hat man opalipiate. That hat man opalipiate. What the word meaning and translation by His Grace Sri A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki jay. Yatha. Yatha. As. As. Sarvagatam. Sarvagatam. All pervading. All pervading. Sokshmyat. Sokshmyat. Due to being subtle. Due to being subtle. Akasham. Akasham. The sky. The sky. Na. Na. Never. Never. Upalipyate. Upalipyate. Mixes. Mixes. Sarvatra. Sarvatra. Everywhere. Everywhere. Avasthitaha. Avasthitaha. Situated. Situated. Dehe. Dehe. In the body. In the body. Tatha. Tatha. So. So. Atma. Atma. The self. The self. Na. Na. Never. Never. Upalipyate. Palipyate. Mixes. Mixes. The sky. The sky. Due to its subtle nature. Due to its subtle nature. Does not mix with anything. Does not mix with anything. Although it is all pervading. Although it is all pervading. Similarly. Similarly. The soul situated in. The soul situated in Brahman vision, Brahman vision does not mix with the body, does not mix with the body, though situated in the body, though situated in that body. Yeah. So see, in the last verse, we understood that anyone who has this Brahman vision means the vision of eternity. And one can see that the soul is imperishable, eternal, transcendental, and it is beyond the modes of nature. Then the soul does not get entangled. So how this happens is told in this verse. The soul never mixes with the body. The air enters into water mud, stool, and whatever else is there. Still, it does not mix with anything. Similarly, the living entity, even though situated in varieties of bodies, is aloof from them due to his subtle nature. Therefore, it is impossible to see with the material eyes how the living entity is in contact with this body and how he is out of it after the destruction of the body. No one in science can ascertain this. So see, there is an analogy given here. Uh, sarvagatam. So it means all pervading. So here, uh, the Akash can refer to sky or to ether. You can use any of the example. So we can relate to the sky. The point is, the ether is subtle, so subtle that none of the grosser elements can contaminate it. The sky is big, vast, and the wind keeps flowing through it. Along with the wind, some dirt may fly, and it might look like it is dirty. But after some time, it becomes clear 
the sky is not contaminated by the dirt. So similarly, the soul can be situated in different kinds of bodies. Atmana upalipyate means the atma will not become entangled. Even if it is situated in several bodies, it does not become entangled. Example, the soul may be um, situated in the body of a human, of an elephant, maybe a fox, or you know, any, uh, even the tamasic creatures. There also the soul remains transcendental. Within that body, also there is freedom. Though it is bound to work in a predefined way, depending on the body, still it remains unaffected. The soul is not affected in whatever body it is. Just like the sky is not affected. Though in the body, it is not touched by the qualities of the body. So that's how it remains aloof. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.